Hey, it's Chris with Visuals by Impulse. And today we're gonna be talking about how easy it is to set up VBI's one-click setup. Setting up alerts and widgets should not be hard. Yet, if you look in the wrong places, it can require a ton of work in the background to get them up and running. And we can see how that drives away new streamers or casual creators who may not be super techy. Luckily, there is an easy way if you pick the right alerts and widgets. You don't need an advanced knowledge base to get started. All you need is a basic understanding of OBS and one click. And the best part about VBI's one click setup is that it gives you way more personalization features so you can make your widget or alert unique to your stream. And it doesn't matter where you're streaming at, Twitch, Facebook gaming, or YouTube, it works for them all. Better yet, one click setup works with your streaming software of choice as well, whether it be OBS Studio, Streamlabs, or stream elements. What is one click setup and why do I need it? One click is meant to save you time, energy, and the headache of manually installing widgets or alerts. It is now 2021 and it should not be an obstacle in today's day and age. In the past, setting up widgets and alerts was super time consuming and clunky. You had to upload each of your files one by one and you didn't get as many options as you do with one click, but not anymore with one click setup. Installing alerts and widgets is now simple and easy and on any streaming platform. With just a few clicks, all of your alerts and settings are automatically applied into your OBS software of choice. Now, most commonly one click is used for alerts such as new followers, subscribers, cheers, raids, and hosts, but it also applies for widgets you can get from VBI as well. Widgets such as the Jelly UI, event lists, chat boxes, hype meter, and even the all-in-one stream widgets can all be used by one-click setup. Now let's see how it all works. We're gonna be using alerts for this example, but just remember it works for widgets as well. It's the same process. We're gonna go through the setup process of Streamlabs, Stream Elements, as well as OBS Studio, and it's super easy to install one-click setup. All it takes is really two different steps. So the first step is using your one-click link, and depending on the link you chose, you're gonna configure those alerts inside of your Streamlabs or your Stream Elements dashboard. And then once that's configured, we're gonna set that up inside of OBS. We're going to start with Streamlabs. First, we're going to show you how to use one click setup and then how to actually configure alerts inside the Streamlabs dashboard. And then after that, we'll go ahead and show you how to import those into your OBS. Once you have your download from VBI, we're going to go ahead and go into our folder. And from here, we're going to go to the one click setups folder. Here, we're going to pick Streamlabs in this case, and then we're going to click on the Streamlabs alerts one click setup. Once you do this, a dashboard should pop up and automatically install that into your Streamlabs for you. Once it's done loading, you'll see a page like this. We're going to go ahead and create a new one. You're going to need to give the widget theme a name. And then after that, you can go ahead and press create. And then once we're on this screen, we're going to click use next to the theme that we just made. So once you load into the dashboard, we'll go ahead and scroll down a little bit. We'll click on the follows tab for this example. We'll scroll down again. And as you can see, the one click setup has already installed our files for us. If we scroll down even more, you'll see the HTML. We want to change this over to custom fields. This is where we're going to customize our new alert. So let's go ahead and change this up. We'll go ahead and make this new member. And then we'll change up the color over to red. And then we'll also mess around with some of these settings to see how it looks. Once you configured your settings, make sure you hit the save settings button at the bottom of the page. And you should see this alert box updated up here. After that, we're going to scroll back to the top and we're going to need this URL link. So right here, we're going to press this copy button and this is going to copy your widget URL. We're going to take this URL and import it as a browser source inside of OBS. So let's go ahead and open up OBS and under the sources tab, we're going to add a new source. We're going to scroll up the browser. We're going to name this alerts and then press OK. In this URL tab, I'm going to paste the new URL inside of this and then I'm going to press OK. Now, if we go back into our Streamlabs dashboard, we have a test button so we can test our new alert. If we go ahead and test the follow button, we should see it pop up over here. We got the particle effects that we turn red and then we have new member popping up. So everything is working nicely. Now let's go over one more important step. We're going to pull up our dashboard again. We're going to make some changes to this new alert. Let's go ahead and change this back to blue and then we'll change this back to new follower. When you make changes to your alert, make sure you always hit the save settings button. You don't need to copy this link again, but inside OBS, we need to double click on alerts, scroll down, and then we need to refresh cash. I like to click it once or twice to make sure it refreshes. Then make sure you press OK. We'll go ahead and bring up our Streamlabs dashboard again. And if we press test follow, our changes to the alert should appear. New follower, and now we have those blue wisps right there. Next, let's discuss Stream Elements. First, we'll show you how to use one click setup and then configure it inside of Stream Elements dashboard, as well as import it into your OBS and Streamlabs. All right, so back with our Stream Package folder, we'll go ahead and click inside of it, and then we'll go to one click setup again. From here, we'll go ahead and click on Stream Elements and then click our platform of choice. We're gonna go with Twitch for this example. Once it's done loading up, it should automatically take you over to your overlay gallery and you should see your alert right here. Next, we're going to click on edit. And it's going to take you into the editing UI. Once this is all loaded up, we can go ahead and click on alert box one and then we can go into our settings. From here, you have the option of configuring all your different events. 
But for now, we're going to use follower alert. Similar to the Streamlabs setup, audio files and the video file have already been uploaded. From here, we can scroll down and if we click on text and formatting, we can change the wording of our alert. At the bottom, you'll see particle effects and this is where we change our coloring and then the uh, particle distortion, height and width. So we can go ahead and mess around with these settings. We'll go ahead and change this color as well again. We'll make this a nice yellow for this example. Press select. Once we're done customizing our alert, we can go ahead and preview it inside of our dashboard with stream elements. So if we go down to this emulate tab right here, We'll go ahead and press follower event. So as you can see, our alert pops up, our yellow particle effects are appearing. So the changes we made took effect. Once you're satisfied with how your alert looks, make sure you hit this save button in the upper right hand corner. Otherwise your effects won't take place. After that, we're going to go over to this icon right here where it says copy overlay URL. Go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to open up our OBS. Once again, we're going to go to browser. We're going to name this again. And then after you name it, go ahead and press OK. Same thing in the URL source. We're going to paste that new URL inside this slot and then press OK. And to make sure our alert works inside of OBS, we'll go ahead and grab our stream elements dashboard again. Go back down to emulate and we'll do that follower event once more. It should pop up right here. And as you can see, it's kind of chopped off. We'll go ahead and fix that right now. We'll go ahead and double click on our alert. And we're going to change the values of the width and height. So we're going to change these to 1920 by 1080. And then once you're done with that, we're going to press the OK button. Now, if we go back and test the follower button, it should pop up again. And you have the option of rescaling and sizing that and placing it wherever you need to on the screen. Now, if you ever want to change up your alert again, make sure you always hit this save button right here. And then back in OBS, double click on your alert and make sure you refresh the cache. Always click it a few times to make sure it works and then retesting that follower event to make sure all your changes went through. We hope you found this one click setup guide useful. If you do need some additional help, feel free to reach out. We would love to assist. That is it for now. Take it easy and we'll see you next time.